Hey guys, it's Aiden from Aiden Says, and I'm here with... Isaac Ryan Brown. How you doing, guys? So, Isaac, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. How are you, Aiden? I'm good. I'm good. So, Isaac, how is it like to make this movie? Well, you know, it has to do with an amazing cast with Billy, Ryan O'Quinn, Daniel Nicolette, Cheyenne, Sean, uh, Sharon, everybody. It was just an amazing cast and crew, and they really hoped to pull the movie together because Billy came with the amazing scripts, and Ryan and Danielle and everybody, they just pulled the entire movie together. And they were kind of on set mentoring me, like showing me like how to do this and how to do that and how to frame and get the angle. So, you know, being on the set, it really just helps me being around actors who've been in the business longer than me. So, and Overall, making the movie was just amazing. So That's awesome. So what was your favorite part about making the movie, or just the movie in general? My favorite part about the movie was this crap. I don't want to give away too much, you guys, so cover your ears. But my favorite part was in when Matthew um, is beaten up and, like, ugh almost killed in, and left for there in the alleyway, alleyway and someone sets his car on fire when CJ comes in and he's like oh god are you okay and he comes in and he rescues him and then a car just explodes and we can't go to the ground then he gets up and he still goes and another car explodes and all this and it just explodes that was my favorite part we filmed that to three o'clock in the morning but it was still awesome that's awesome so what are you feeling tonight since you've worked on this movie so long what are you feeling you know what, I'm just feeling amazing that it's starting to premiere because we worked on it for two months. I, I was doing a lot of work for Believe. It's coming out in all these theaters and it was just so much pressure and so much work moving around, like take like 10 hours to drive to from where I was. It was just amazing to go there. And so making this movie, it kind of like shows all of our hard work paying off on the movie screen. I can't wait to see it. That's awesome. Well. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Aiden. So, guys, um, if you want to check this movie out, it's coming out December 2nd. And you can check it out. Um, what's the website called again? Oh, uh, yeah. You can, uh, for more information about this website, you can go to, you can text Believe to 21,000. And for more information about the movie, you can go to www.believe.film. So, guys, you heard it from Isaac himself. Aiden says, this was awesome. See you, Isaac. Yep. Aiden, I have to tip my hat off to you because as a, um, I remember a few weeks ago, I did the Trolls premiere doing this, man, it's hard work. Yeah. Thank you. Job. And I'm here with Jennifer Jolliffe. <laughs> <laughs> so Jennifer, what are you feeling tonight at this movie? What are you looking forward to in the movie the most? Uh, well, definitely the encouraging message and also just for the actors, you know, like when you put together a film, so much work goes into it. And so just to kind of cheer them on and, you know, yeah. It's awesome. So have you been like looking forward to this movie a lot? Like this morning when you woke up, were you like, <laughs> I'm going to go see Believe? <laughs> well, when I heard about it, you know, like the, the message and all that, like, of course, whenever there's a film that has like an a positive, encouraging message, you definitely want to, you know, support it and encourage it and, you know, get your pom poms and cheer for it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, thank you. How old are you, Aiden? I am 12 years old. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna love this, Aiden. What brought you here tonight? Well, I'm Bishop George Bloom, a celebrity host for Rejoice in the Word on the Word Network. And uh, my network is doing some interviews with the cast. So we came to do some interviews with the cast to get awesome. everybody ready for this, this great movie. Cool. What are you, um, since you're Bishop, what are you uh, expecting out of this movie? What kind of messages or um, what are you hoping from this movie? A lot of people don't go to church like they used to. And so I believe that God has opened up a, a venue and a channel for us to get our message out in the movie theaters. So that's what I'm hoping, that millennials and young people like you who might not want to go to church every Sunday will go with the family to the movie and still get the message. And the message is continue to believe. And if you believe, all things are possible. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you too. So much. You're great, man. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Billy Dixon and Sharon Dixon. So, Billy, what was one of the biggest things that inspired you in this film while writing this film? Um, I think the belief that things are all things are possible, and that if you believe hard enough, you can make things happen. That's awesome. What was one of your like all-time favorite parts about either writing this or on-set directing? I think just being with this cast every day, 
and how they embraced each day and embraced each scene, embraced the words, and, and, and seeing their involvement in the movie. I love that. It's awesome. So, Sharon, how are you feeling um, since over the past while with um, Billy just like being so involved in the movie and just like, yeah. <laughs> um, extremely emotional because I mean it's something that kind of, it's a story that sat in a box for so many years, and to now see it come to light, it's very surreal. It's very emotional, and we hope everybody accepts it. Um, and walks away saying, wow, that made me feel really great. It's awesome. So how are you feeling tonight, too? I've been nervous. <laughs> nervous. It's fun to see how people will react to it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited that we're, we're at that point now that the public is going to see the movie. So it's exciting. It's awesome. Well, thank you guys both so much. Thank you, Aiden. Thanks. Pleasure. Thank you. So, Scott, what brings you here tonight? You, Aiden. I'm here for you. <laughs> Your dad said you were going to be here. Uh, is, there a, is there something else happening besides you? <laughs> no, we're here um, for I don't Ryan, think Ryan so. O'Quinn is a, is, a, is a friend of ours, and we're here to support him in the film Believe. I'm here with Shawnee. So, uh, Shawnee, how was um, filming, the, filming the movie? It was great. You can probably get an idea interviewing the people, how much fun we had on the set. It's a great group of people and a sweet film. You know, it's like a perfect storm. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about our, your character, please? I play Dr. Nancy Wells. I'm Matthew's best friend, and I'm a good enough friend to tell him the truth when it's a little inconvenient, and he might not want to hear it. <laughs> what was your favorite part about being on set and hanging out with the cast? I think when you're making a movie that has such a like a sweet, good spirit, you know, it kind of infiltrates everybody. Cause like you're serving something higher than yourselves, you know. So it's like uh, very nice to come to work. That's awesome. So, how are you feeling tonight? Oh, great. I don't know if life gets much better. Well, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little tired. Interviewing and yeah. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old. Taller than me. <laughs> it's not hard to do, but well done. Thank you, Shawnee. Thank you very much. What are you guys uh, feeling tonight? Are you? What are you excited for? Nervous for with the movie? Uh, it's, uh, to me, it's jubilation. You know, we did this. You know, and and it uh, it feels really good. And this is. Uh, it's a pretty amazing feeling, you know. It's it, to have a movie distributed is not something a lot of people can say. Uh, to have it distributed in the theaters that we have, it's. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Like it's the, to do what we did in the amount of time that we did is is is. I'm just proud. I'm very happy. Given, given the timeline, it, it all feels a bit surreal. I think that that probably sums it up. And I'm, I got that excited, nervous feeling, you know, to watch it with a full audience. Oh, yeah. I got that excited, nervous feeling. But no, very surreal, uh, extremely grateful, and kind of like unreal that we got ourselves to, <laughs> to this place yeah. in the amount of time that we did. So, yeah, that no, you're but here. grateful. That yeah, you're here. You're it's here, like, here it's right like, now. Yes. We, we often tell people it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. Well, this is like a 400 meter dash, <laughs> so it's not quite right a sprint, in the middle. but it's a little yeah. bit faster than a marathon. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, uh, but yeah, we're we're happy and God's great. Yeah. So, it's awesome. Well, thank you guys all thank so you. much. Uh, keep up what you're doing, man. You do you do a great job. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So, you guys, here we have Nelson Diaz, Jacob Patrick, and Ben Holmes. Thank you guys so much. A no. So, Darren, tell me a little bit about what you're currently doing right now. Well, right now I'm on the red carpet with you <laughs> at the premiere of the Believe movie. And I'm here to support my friend Kevin Sizemore in his faith-based film, which is really, really important. And, um, you know, at, at the time we are, in the world we are, with so many diverse opinions, I think it's important to have faith. And this being a faith-based film, uh, you know, I'm really excited because we get to sit down and see and watch people um, and their life unfold on screen and we get to see their faith unfold on screen and that's important and that allows us another opportunity to believe. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. so much. Okay. You guys, 
Aiden here, and this is... Darren Henson, and you heard it here. Stay tuned because there's a whole lot more. Hey guys, Aiden here from Aiden Says, and I'm here with... Kevin Sizemore. I'm with Aiden. <laughs> so Kevin, um, tell us about like what kind of impact you had on this movie as a producer. Well, you know, it was really interesting because I'm from West Virginia, and uh, Ryan is from Virginia. That's kind of how we hooked up on this project. And being able to come together, telling a movie from the south in a very small town, it resonated with me because that's, that's my neck of the woods. Uh, it was really fun, man. I mean, it's, it's cold. It's, this, is, this is good weather. Don't, don't be cold now. This is good weather. But back there, it was really cold. It was really fun. We had a great time. And being able to be an actor and produce on this project was just a dream come true. It's really great, especially when you have a movie that's going to uplift people. And when they walk away, they're going to be better for it. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Just don't talk to this guy. Oh, oh hey. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Oh, good to see this you. Guy. Sorry. This guy. Hey. I know you're a subscriber to Aiden Says. Yeah. The best YouTube channel out there, yes. right? Oh, totally. See? Like, 100%. See? And that was free. That was a free plug. <laughs> Continue, Aiden. What was some of your favorite parts about being on set with this cast? It's always the continuity of the friendships. You know, you take away anything from a movie, you take away friendships. And that we, you know, we have a handful of people that we connected with very, very well. I mean... You, know, you have people that you like and you, and you get to hang out with and you laugh and you goof off and you just have fun. Yeah, that's what it's all about for me is just really doing a project that you can enjoy. If you enjoy what you like to do, which is what you're doing right now, you like this, right? Yeah. Everyone keep logging in because he's <laughs> going to get better and get bigger and badder and you don't want to miss it because he's going to go. Pew. So guys, Kevin Sizemore here. Kevin Sizemore here for Aiden. Make sure you follow this dude. He's doing great. Okay, and go check out Believe December 2nd, www.believe.film. Well, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, bro. Hey, guys, Aiden here from Aiden Says, and I'm here with... Ryan O'Quinn. And Heather O'Quinn. So, guys, what was it like making this movie? Well, I got to tell you, it's been a long, long process, and I could probably spend a lot of time, Aiden, talking to you about uh, all the ups and downs and nuances and insides and outs, but... Uh, the, the exhale moment is being right here on the red carpet with you. So all of that hard work, I told Heather a year ago, when we sit down and buy popcorn for the first time and actually watch it for the first time on the screen, it will hopefully have all been worth it. So I just like being here with you. <laughs> Let me say that I'm a big fan of Aiden Says. I knew Aiden when it was in its inception, when Aiden Says was just you know three or four people watching a YouTube channel, and here we are, and you're on the red carpet. So kudos to you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Heller, Heather, what was it like having Ryan um, being on set so much and being the main actor of this movie for you? It was really weird because Ryan was not funny at all. Uh, in the, yeah, in the at, yeah, like, you know, you guys know how Ryan normally is. But this was a completely different thing. And I was worried. I was worried. I've never seen him do... Serious, dramatic weight. stuff. I was gaunt. I thought he might like overdo it a little, and I gotta say, when I've seen, I haven't seen the whole movie. I'm gonna see it tonight, but everything I've seen so far, he knocked it out of the park. He did really good. I mean, she, she has to say he's that, not <laughs> just funny. Who that's, knew? That's Who a great knew? review. That he's he can, not just funny. He's, I'll we take all that know as he's a funny, but that. he can be serious, and he he did a good job. So that's my. Thank, my two cents. I appreciate the review. I think she has to say that, but I'll take it. I'm not sure. What was your, like, 100% favorite part of doing this? Wow. Um, well, we shot in my hometown, first of all. <clears throat> Partly in my, excuse me, in my hometown. And we were hoping to have a couple hundred extras show up. It's a tiny little coal mining town in Virginia, by the way. And there's this really pivotal moment in the scene, in the film, rather, where there's a scene where we need hundreds of extras to show up for this Christmas festival scene. So I did some radio interviews and we threw it out on Facebook and we put it out in the local newspapers and we're hoping to get about 200 extras to show up and 2,300 people from my hometown showed up at 73 degrees in March, by the way, and dressed in Christmas attire to, to make this scene work. So hats off to those people it, it wasn't anything we did by any stretch but when I say that it literally could not have been done without them in this case that's true yeah. that's awesome it's pretty cool yeah so I've heard a lot of people tonight say that one of their favorite things about this movie was the incredible cast and just how fun they were I have a question for you Ryan yeah. 
Was there one? And if so, who was the biggest prankster on set? Well, Isaac is certainly uh, the biggest personality. He's coming right by. I already hear him right now. He's coming. <laughs> Look, he's already sneaking. He's already sneaking this way. But uh, see, uh, he and his sister Serenity uh, kept our set alive the whole time. So I will, I will divulge one little secret. There's a scene in the movie where uh, Isaac is in a hospital bed and he actually fell asleep in the hospital <laughs> while we were shooting. You know, you've got a, ca a crew of 85 people standing around and he actually fell asleep. I don't know how he did it, but he was just uh, on, you know, for eight hours straight or whatever it was and passed out and fell asleep in the hospital bed. So little little behind the scenes moment. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys both so much. Um, this is awesome. You guys, Heather and Ryan O'Quinn. See you guys Aiden later. Says. Keep tuning in to Aiden Says. Check out Believe December 2nd in theaters. Thank you. See you guys.